What's up Troop? In today's video I want to show you the easiest and dirtiest way of chopping breaks in FL Studio. So I've noticed the way that everyone shows you is to go into SliceX and make all the individual chops and send it all out to different channels which while is the proper way to do it and does yield great result is time consuming and laborious and just kills the creativity. I want to show you a way that takes seconds, is super creative and will just keep your workflow going. So here we go, I'm even going to leave FL Studio at just the default tempo. I need to switch into song mode. And over here on the left hand side, I've just gone and found the hot pants break, classic drum break, right? We're just going to drag that and drop it onto our channel. We can drop it directly on the track if we like and make this a dedicated audio track. That will also route the hot pants break into our mixer, saving us more time and effort. Okay, so we're going to just zoom in here. This would be the command key or the windows key and then just the mouse scroll. And then if we do uh, what will be option or alt, we can just zoom in like so. All right, so as we can see, this break is not fitting this tempo whatsoever, right? So the first thing we need to do is get it to fit the tempo. Really easy way to do it. Click over here on this little audio icon, fit to tempo, let it do the estimated and it will snap it in for us. Way too fast. That's fine though. Don't worry about it. Make sure we've got this little icon just up here. This is our stretching and resizing and we can just drag it out. So now it's going to fit one bar perfectly. Happy days, right? If you're going to use this technique in your music to chop up breaks and then release it, you want to get your music on places like Spotify and Apple Music, where the channel sponsor DistroKid can do that for you. You get my music out to all of the major distributors and they do that at a price an independent artist can easily afford. If you're ready to get your music or beats out there and want to release an unlimited amount of music each year, check the link in the description below for a discount off of your first year of unlimited distribution with DistroKid. So let's chop the break up and we don't even have to do anything technical here. We're going to click on that little icon again like we did before, scroll ourselves down to chop, hit medium auto slicing and boom, that's chopped the break into a bunch of slices for us. But it sounds exactly the same on playback. So to prove my point, what we're going to do here is just hold our command key, select everything, hold down shift, drag it along and now we've got two bars. All right, let's juggle up the second bar really, really quickly. We're gonna press S on our keyboard, and that's gonna to go to this little guy just up here called the slip. Now, as long as we've got our snapping on, which is this right here, it's currently set to snap to grid if you need to. We are gonna to stick to snap to grid for now, but try and mix it up with different steps, you'll get different vibes. So let's have it so the second bar here juggles around a bit, and what we can do is we can do something like take this hat here, and we can just slip it into another side like this. Maybe we want to mix this up at the end, double snare it, whatever we like, really really easy. Maybe we want to do the dollar kick here at the start and then bring the heavier kick in later. But hell, maybe we want to do a double kick at the start. So, so easy to mix everything up this way. Delay the snare a bit. Remove it entirely. And this is just such a fast way to work and mix things up. I use it all the time on all kinds of samples, but with breaks, it works especially well. See how quick everything was chopped up and how we can rearrange it, super useful. Now there is one more thing that we need to look at. We looked at the snapping and rhythm and things before. Sometimes there'll be samples that don't quite fit in certain places, or perhaps you wanna send certain sounds off to other parts of the mix. For example, let's take the snare here. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna say make unique for this snare here. And now when we double click on this, we can send it to another track, or we can press Command and L, and it'll automatically do that for us. 
That will then allow us to do things like put effects on just that individual hit. For example, let's put a reverb on. So now we'll have a reverb that's just there on that snare hit. Really easily switch back to the pencil tool if we desired and replace all of the snare hits that we maybe want to have the reverb on. Now we also mentioned the snap and we might want to shuffle things around and move them a little bit. We can do it without actually touching the snap whatsoever. See, if we move, say, this hat here, it snaps into the next part. However, if we hold down Option or Alt, we can actually move this exactly wherever we want it. So we can make things shuffle exactly as we want and we can make sure we hit those zero crossings as well. So we could have a little delay on the snare here if we like. And we can shuffle the hats a little bit forward or back and really mix it up any way we like. So there we go, that is the real ninja way to chop up breaks in FL Studio without losing your workflow and getting pretty sick results really, really quickly. Hope the video was helpful for you. I do look forward to seeing you in more FL Studio tutorials, which are right here. I'll see you in those next. Take care.